Hi everyone, Shan Rafael here. I just want to talk to you now about a half day workshop that I'll be running next year at FDIC International. The subject of the workshop is reading the fire and it's about using the BeSafe model for rapid assessment of fire development and also this is an aid for critical decision making. Now I believe pretty firmly that the fire speaks to us through primarily the four fire behaviour indicators. That's smoke, air, heat and flame. And something I've learned over the years is that it's pretty important to interpret those indicators in the context of the particular building we are dealing with. Obviously the type of construction and the occupancy are going to have a major impact on how fire is likely to develop. It's also critically important to consider the environmental factors that are present on that particular day. Now I believe that this model gives us the maximum chances of rapidly and accurately locating the seat of the fire, determining the stage of fire development, and most importantly, it allows us to calculate where and what the fire is likely to do in the next few seconds or few minutes, and that's with or without our intervention. Now, if we use this information, we have an approach that's based on the particular conditions we are seeing at that particular fire. And I think that we all tend to fall into routines. We tend to use the tools, the tactics and techniques that worked for us last time or that work most often. And I think that we really need to be getting to the stage where we are actually reacting to what we're seeing at that particular fire. Now, underpinning this critical skill obviously is a sound understanding of fire behaviour and fire dynamics in the modern built environment. And during the workshop I'll be sharing a few simple models that, that I've developed over the years that I believe help firefighters to understand the types of phenomenon that are likely to be encountered by them and importantly some of the tools and techniques they can use to mitigate the possibility of those phenomenon affecting them. So this knowledge we'll be sharing is based on decades of frontline operational experience. That's also been developed in collaboration with firefighters from over 20 countries. Now, as a current serving frontline fire officer, I believe that one of the most critical skills we need to develop is the ability to rapidly assess that fire development as part of our SISA and develop a plan that is going to make sure that we have the best possible outcomes. Now what that means to you is maximising your chances of saving lives and saving the property of those we serve. So I hope to see you at FDIC 2018. Thanks very much. Stay safe.